I am back with Percy Jackson content and even though I stopped releasing it because of the hate I was getting because of my hot takes, I'm coming back with another hot take because screw those people. So today I want to talk about Nico D'Angelo, but in particular the fact that I kind of don't really like Nico D'Angelo as a character. Now before anyone turns this off, it is not <laughs> over the fact that I hate Nico. I just think Nico could have been a really interesting character, but the way in which his character was handled wasn't done in the best way. And that's in relation to two particular things, but I'm going to be discussing three and you'll see why. Because the first one I want to talk about is the fact that he is an angsty character. And the second is the fact and how basically the fact that him being a queer character is handled. And the third thing I want to talk about today is basically what I think could have been done to improve his character. Now I want to start first with angst, of course, because that's basically Nico's character. And that's what I don't like. The fact that Nico is just a character of angst is very two dimensional and very flat for a character. He is known in the fandom as the goth boy, the sad goth boy. And while it's funny for a joke and inside fandom sort of thing, that's all he is. All he is is angst. But all the angst and the trauma that he goes through, in most cases, is for plot convenient or plot related reasons. And that is not enough justification to have this character go through so many terrible things just to then allow this character to continue to be this flat line of angst. Nico as a character doesn't develop beyond the angst. He does briefly in The Last Olympian where he's accepted and he fights for the demigods and he's accepted at camp and they're gonna they're building and remodeling a Hades oh no, they're building a Hades cabin for him. And all these sort of things which is kind of forgotten in Heroes of Olympus, but I'll get to that at some point. But his character just does very much stay in a very flat line until the very last book of Tower of Nero, where the confrontation of this trauma and this angst that he's been going through is finally dealt with. But the fact that it took 10 to 11 books for that to happen is in itself the problem. Nico deserved to be a character more outside of his angst. He decided to, he deserved to not just be an angsty character. Being angsty is not a character, it's a, it's basically, he can basically be replaced with a sad looking dog. And it's a whole sort of like the sexy lamp trope thing, if like if a woman character can be replaced with a sexy lamp. Nico is the same, but he could re be replaced with a sad looking dog. Like his character is just there to be angsty and to to basically provide plot related convenience such as him being trapped in the jar in is it which one is it i think it's mark of athena is it mark of athena whichever one it was then him going to tartarus alone for reasons that admittedly i haven't read them recently but i can't fully explain but then also the fact that he's forced out of the closet as well that is for plot like reasons and honestly sort of but I'll get to that but the fact that Nico is only really an angsty character and nothing else is what frustrates me because he could have been such an interesting character beyond this he could have grown from this trauma and from these things that he experienced but all he continues to do is stay in this fat line and continue to experience this trauma and that's what leads into the second part, which is him being a queer character. To note, as an aside, I will be using the term queer because it is an umbrella term. It's one that I feel more comfortable using. Technically, we don't know what Nico identifies as because the word gay is not really used in regards to him. We just know that he has had crushes and is currently in a relationship with a boy, but doesn't necessarily mean that he is gay because, you know, the term's not used, but besides the point. So I'll be using that term. Um, but Nico as a queer character, I hate. I don't hate that he is a queer character. I hate how it is dealt with because of the fact that he is forced out of the closet for trauma plot related elements. There was no reason for him to be forced out of the closet. There was no reason for him to then 
actually go on to say the fact that he hates that he has feelings for Percy because it's a boy. And now I know people bring up, like, oh, it's because he was born in a different time. I'm like, he was literally a child in the 1940s or wherever, whenever it was exactly he was born. There is no plausible way for him to know as such a young child that gay people were hated in that time. Add in the fact that he's been in this world long enough, <laughs> in this time period long enough to know that's no longer the case. Like it just doesn't make any logical sense of saying, oh, it's because he was born from a different time. That makes no logical sense whatsoever. But other than that, not only does he, is he forced out of the closet, in a scene that I can no longer read. As someone who was forced out of the closet, I cannot read that chapter. I know people are going to use the fact like, oh, well, you were forced out, so it could totally make sense. That doesn't matter. This was the first representation we got in a kid's medium story. And it was brought in through trauma. I wish it'd been done better. I wish he'd had embraced it. I wish he had been happy to reveal this information and not be forced to do it. But that's not what we got. And it doesn't get any better. In Trials of Apollo, he's clearly uncomfortable in his relationship and showing his relationship with a boy to others. Eventually, it gets a little bit better, but the fact that that's a thing hate it hate it hate it i wish it was done so much better admittedly rick does get better with his representation but again he is a white straight cis male you can't really like i wish there's done a little bit more research basically in this regards editing fran here i just want to say i am not justifying rick's slightly poor representation of nico's coming out because of the fact that he is a straight man you know there is a way to research these things to put the effort in if you want to have a character of this representation in your story. It could have been done a lot better. I'm not justifying his actions, but I can understand at the same time because no matter how much research you do, it's not always going to be accurate because you are not of that identity. Um, just want to say this, not justifying, but I am understanding in that sense. But like I said, it gets better with Joe and Emmy in Trials of Apollo, for example. But again, as besides the point. I feel his representation of being a queer character was really only used for, in a sense, gay trauma. And just because that's all Nico's character is experiencing trauma. So it was just adding another level to his trauma. By having him be a queer character, he was forced out of the closet and wasn't happy about being queer. I wish it'd been done differently. And that's where I want to get into this final bit of what I wish could have been done for Nico's character. And the main thing really is, I wish he actually got to be a character. Because even though we have his own POV in Blood of Olympus, there's not really anything about Nico as a character that stands out other than him being a sad, sad boy. And that's not a character, that's not a character trait. If your character stays the same throughout 10 books, basically, of just being sad, that is not a character, that is a trope. But the fact that he just becomes a two-dimensional character of just being sad, angsty, and a queer character, that is all Nico D'Angelo is. That, and he is a plot device. His trauma and his character is used as a plot device. Everything about his character is used to further the story. There is something about Nico's character that I think he, he could have had an incredible character arc, an incredible character journey, even as a secondary character who doesn't have a POV until Blood of Olympus and kind of is just in the background here and there. There is a way to show the growth of his character, which we do kind of see in The Last Olympian, and then it disappears in Heroes of Olympus. It's just frustrating that his character really kind of only exists to further the plot and to prop up other characters. Nico D'Angelo de deserved to have a character and not just be a straight-lined, ironically, a straight-lined character that doesn't develop and is really only known and used for angst reasons. But what do you guys think? Do you agree with me that Nico as a character deserved better in terms of how he was shown or do hate me now <laughs> because of the fact that I'm not the biggest fan of how 
he is characterised in the series. Whatever the case, please don't send me hate messages. I've had too many of those. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on this video and on Nico as a character. And in future, if there are any characters that you would like me to do these sort of deep dives on and explore explorations of the characters, like I've done with the Annabeth video, for example, let me know in the comment section as well. Um, I definitely plan to do more Percy Jackson related videos. I was absolutely terrified before because of the treatment I was getting previously, but at this point, I don't bloody care. If people are gonna be assholes, I'm gonna block them. That's just how it's gonna be. <laughs> but in regards to that, thank you all so much for tuning into this video. It has been an absolute blast and I can't wait to do more of these in future. As always, check out the description box down below to follow all my social medias, check out my merchandise store, follow and support me on Patreon if you can. If you can't support me financially, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, drop a thumbs up, a comment even if you don't have any thoughts on the video because algorithm and share this with your friends but uh yeah again thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time